Hey everyone, welcome back to Pabli and this video is for all the social media managers who want to manage social media platforms in a better way. So suppose that you are working with your team for your social media platforms to create content and you do not want to provide access of your personal or business social media accounts to everyone in your team. So you can use this automation that we are about to set up and it will allow you to create posts in a social media account just like Instagram as in when you enter the data of social media content in a Google Sheet. Yes guys, this can happen. So your team does not have to uh, manually post the content. They just have to create the content and fill in in the rows of Google Sheets and the same content will be delivered to different social media accounts like Instagram automatically. And let me show you how the flow of uh, this automation is going to look like. So this is how it is going to work as and when you enter the post content in the spreadsheet that you have created in Google Sheets application, the same content will be created as a new post in Instagram automatically. Yes, guys. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part to set up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. So guys, please do check the link that we have pasted in the description for, for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. OK, so after that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. And here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So let me fill in the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as create post in Instagram from Google Sheets automatically. OK, now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our whole automation work on this trigger and action. So trigger is happening of any event and action is a response to that trigger or the event. OK, so in our case, the trigger would be entering of data of content in Google Sheet and the response or the action towards that trigger would be to send the same data as a new post in Instagram. OK, so first of all, you have to set up your trigger. So click here and from this choose app field, select your trigger application. In our case, the trigger application is Google Sheets in which we are entering the data of the post that we want to create on Instagram. OK. So now you have to click here on this trigger event button and you have to select this new or updated spreadsheet row option and it will trigger this workflow when a new row is added or updated in your spreadsheet. OK, select it. Then it will give you this URL. So with the help of uh, first of all, let me tell you what it is. This is called as a webhook URL and it is used. It is used to fetch data out from any external application to here in Pabli Connect. OK. Now, with the help of this URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet application with Pabli Connect and we'll fetch the data of the content from our spreadsheet to here in Pabli Connect. And with the help of that data only, we are going to set up this automation. OK, so for that to connect your spreadsheet uh, with Pabli Connect, use this webhook URL. First of all, just copy this and then you can read the instructions written here. Let me show you the exact process, how we are going to connect it. So this is the spreadsheet I have created to uh, fill in the content of the post that I want to create in Instagram. So here I'm entering the captions and here I'm entering the link of the images that I want to post on Instagram. OK, so basically Instagram is a photo sharing application. So that's why I have uh, entered the link of the photos here. OK, now here you have to click on this extensions button and from this add ons, click on get add ons. OK, and from this window, you have to search for a free add on, which is called Pabli, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli Connect Webhooks. OK, and you have to install this add on here in your spreadsheet. This is a free add on and you can install it in just two minutes. As and you can see here, I have already installed it. It is written installed here, so I do not need to install it again. But once you install it here, 
After that, you have to refresh your spreadsheet. This is an important step. After installing Pavlik Connect Webhooks, refresh, refresh your spreadsheet. Then after that, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pavlik Connect Webhooks option available here in this drop down only. Okay. And from this Pavlik Connect Webhooks add on, click on initial setup. And here in the initial setup, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column. So here in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the copied webhook you have copied from Pavli Connect. And in the trigger column, you have to enter the name of the final or the last data entry column you have in your spreadsheet. So my last or final data entry column is this one B. So as in when I enter the details or, or the link of the image, in this B column, then the workflow will trigger and fetch the data of this co uh, content of, of, a, of a whole row from here and fetch it into Pabli Connect. Okay. So let me fill in the uh, both of these things. I'm going to Pabli Connect Webhooks add on initial setup. And in the Webhook URL field, let me first erase this and paste the new Webhook URL that I've copied like this. Okay. And in the trigger column, B is already written here. Okay. Now, uh, this is it. And let me tell you one thing. Uh, as I've copied the webhook URL from here in Pabli Connect, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. You can see here. So this means now you have to do a test submission or you have to uh, enter the details of a test record in Google Sheet and the data of that test record will be fetched here in Pabli Connect as a test data to make this automation to set up this automation further. Okay. So let me show you now the spreadsheet again. <clears throat> so here in this initial setup of this spreadsheet, you can see it, it is showing us this button called as send test. So when you click on this, the data of the first row of my spreadsheet will be delivered to Pavli Connect as the test data and will be captured there. Let me show you. I am clicking here on send test and you can see the test data sent successfully is showing up here. Now let's check in my uh, workflow and you can see in my workflow, the data is captured here like this. Here is the new post from us to you all. This is the image link. This is the spreadsheet's name and all these details. Okay. So we got the test data now. And now let's go back to our spreadsheet and I'm clicking on submit here in the, in the initial setup. And now you have to do one last thing here, which is go back to extensions and from public connect webhooks, click here on this send on event button. So when you click on this send on event button, what will happen as in when you enter a new row here afterwards, the data of that row will be automatically delivered to Pabli Connect and a post will be created afterwards. Okay. So let's go back to our workflow. And now as I have fetched the data of the post, now I want to create a post in Instagram. Okay. So for that, you have to set up the, the action step and the action is to create a post in Instagram. So from this choose that field, choose Instagram application as the action application. Okay. So here it is Instagram for business. I'm using a business account. Okay. And in this action event, it will give you these options, publish a photo, create a video or publish a video. Okay. So uh, right now we are publishing a photo because we have the photo image content in our spreadsheet. So I'm going to use this publish photo as an action event. Okay. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And then click on connect with Instagram for business. And from this window, it will show you the login window if you are not logged in. As I have already logged in in my Instagram account, you can see it just connected automatically. Okay. Now it is asking which Instagram account are you using? So here I'm using this one, JC Matthews 12. So here it will show you the name of the account holder selected. And now it is asking for the photo URL that you want to post. So guys, we fetch the data of the photo URL here in the first tab. And you can see this is the photo URL or the image link. So I'm going to map the image link label here in the second step. So that as and when you enter a new image link or a new content in spreadsheet, 
the data will get changed automatically and the post will be created automatically okay so to map the link you just have to click here and you will find this google sheets uh, option that was a previous step here in the drop down and from here map this image link like this okay and here in the caption you can map the caption as well as we have entered the caption also you can see here is the caption okay now we are done mapping the data now you can check the connection of instagram if it is working properly or not so you can see right now i have a uh, this post here this is my profile of instagram okay and let me check the connection i am clicking here on save and send test request and if the connection is fine a new post will be created a test post okay so it might take a few moments here and you can see it started showing this kind of response now let's check in instagram if we got the new post i am refreshing my profile page and you can see we got a new post here like this and this caption is the same you can see here is the new post from us to all okay and this is the same image that got that got posted here i can show you that also let me open this image link that we have mapped okay and you can see this is the same image that we have mapped and this same image got posted here like this so this is how it is going to work in real time guys our connection is fine and we are done setting up this automation now let me give you a quick recap and guys let me tell you one thing you just have to set up this automation and map all the details only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that you just have to enter the details the content in your spreadsheet and a post will be created automatically in your instagram okay so let me show you here what we have done so first of all in the trigger section i connected google sheets application with the help of this webhook url and fetched the details of our test content here like this okay then i connected instagram for business in the action step map the details required to create a post and tested our connection that was fine now you just have to click on save and guys, the best part is you can use this same workflow because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.